So someone just dumped me in this random world and told me to make money by mining a bunch of blocks. So that's what we're gonna do. It just takes a lot of clicking, apparently. Well, after like 200 clicks, we get the first block. I'm not too big of a fan of this. So to save myself some trouble, we're just gonna break out the auto clicker. It does pretty much the exact same thing, just a lot faster. And I want it to be going very fast. Here we go. <laughs> this is the mining that I'm here for. And then after we get a bunch of blocks, we can't really get any more. So we have to stop the madness and then come over here to sell some things. Like all the blocks and we get $200 out of that. And then it's back to the grind. We're also getting a lot of, I'm guessing that's luck over there. So once we fill that up, we should get something good. And it seems like I have quite the range for mining. I'm way over here and I'm still getting them. Oh, and apparently a dark mine just opened. I'll finish up this set and then see what there is. So I've made roughly $1,000. Let's see what that dark mine is about. And turn off the auto clicker before my guy goes crazy. Okay, so I can go to the dark cave right here and ooh, can mine some more things, I guess. Except I can't really see anything. Oh, but there's a little weird creatures here gotta bash you away go away just click like crazy until you feel Ooh, that one gave a lot of money time for the auto clicker to come back and whoa big creatures here <laughs> stay back all of you i can't control it <laughs> oh man this is just rude right here but i like it <laughs> making so much money off of that these creatures can't get ow okay that one got close to me that was rude well let's just finish up this little block here and all these ones i took a little bit of damage but it really doesn't seem to matter i'm gonna make the most use out of this four and a half minutes i have whirlwind of death the sword just became a shield and it's dangerous for enemies to walk into it but i'll just finish up collecting 10 blocks after i destroy all my enemies and hopefully survive so i just gotta keep you away and not run into you oh gosh there's more of them Stay back. Stay back, all of you. <laughs> it's so effective just having the auto clicker on to take care of everything. I'm guessing the idea is that I'm supposed to make a ton of money by killing these monsters and not necessarily mining. But the money hasn't gone up above a thousand, so maybe that's just my money cap right now. I'll just finish off this block and then be on my merry way. Hello, yes, I have a lot of things. Can I sell things, please? Or maybe buy some upgrades? Ah, so this is where we can spend the four leaf points. Or we get some skins. Can't equip these. I can get a nuke with a point. 001% chance to nuke the entire mine. I kind of like that. And a slightly bigger chance to drop a bomb in the mine. A bigger backpack is a good idea. A sharper pickaxe. I think I'm going to get a lot of these. If I get faster chops, will that just double up on my auto click? Ooh, or a chance to remove an entire layer. It's about the same chance as the bomber. So I think I'll just get the bomb. Break 2,500 stone blocks. I can do that easy. And I can use the money to buy an additional mine. So we'll go to the bee mine and mine some bees. Is that how that works? Right now, let's sell the blocks that I do have for a fresh start. Ooh, 15k here. That's a pretty easy way to go about it. And actually, do I even have to mine here? I can already go back and afford the next mine and the next one and this one. So we're all the way to E already. Ooh, and these have some fancy blocks in here. Time to break out the auto clicker again. So hopefully with all of these mad clicks happening and the upgrades I do have. Wow, I'm going through a lot of these. I should hopefully see a bomb sometime soon, but it's already time for me to turn in these blocks for hopefully big stonks. 520. Not as big as I thought. I guess the dark mine is where the expensive blocks came from. And I suppose I could get to some insane levels of depth if I just pick the blocks that are easy to mine, like this. That would be the way to get faster money. Of course, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're worth more. So I'll just do what I do and mine through all of the stones and leave none behind. And also got to be careful of where my mouse is because he just likes to mine out the stone that's under underneath them if I'm not careful. Yeah, like this. Okay, now that was worth 555 more, so I guess the harder blocks are worth more. I'm also just racking up all of the upgrade points, so I should be able to get some very good things after this. So what if I just actually just go down this ladder? Whoa, okay, that's very deep. Okay, I'm at the bottom now. Why don't I just mine out here? Surely there's no risk of a cave collapse, right? Okay, really quick, I just want to see if I turn off the auto clicker and start clicking these blocks. Okay, they do go by faster now. It's just that the auto clicker makes them go by infinitely faster. Now I have 10,000. So it's time to go back to the lobby and then just go straight to the next mine where we mine for respects. And these blocks are ridiculously tough. I hope you're worth a lot of money. 370, okay, so they're yeah, they're worth quite a bit. I also just want to get some upgrades before I forget. Now we could pour everything into mining or we come over here for better combat things. Not too sure I care about this. I think having a chance to automatically sell the backpack might be a good idea. Probably not yet. Although I do like increasing the money value of the blocks. So now they're worth 
150% what they were before. And then we just, <laughs> sure, buy the bigger backpack. So we have 120 slots now. And then we just devote everything else we have into a chance for a bomb to go off. And then we can just go back to what we were doing and we can stay here for a lot longer now. I feel like a sharper pickaxe might have been a good idea to get because these blocks are getting a lot tougher. But I also know that each click is just giving me a lot of those upgrade points. And wow, this block is the toughest one yet. Maybe I should just mine as far down as I can on the easy blocks so I can just sell them all right away. Just go right down along the edge here. And I totally forgot just what the range of this mining is. I don't have to move at all right here. And I haven't even filled up my backpack yet. Ooh, what is this? I see something hiding behind the blocks. Tell me what you is. It looks like it's just a patch of green. That's disappointing. Just a few more of these blocks should do that for me. Aha, level up. We got some diamonds and whatever that purple thing is. I'm just gonna mine straight down to the bottom like I do before and then get all of the easy blocks that are down here. Ooh, and there's a big pocket of easy blocks right here. Okay, now I'm full though. So let's see how much 120 blocks is worth. 5,000, easy money. I'm thinking once I get a thousand of those upgrade points, I'm just gonna dump them all into a sharper pickaxe. So I don't have to jump around to the easy blocks like this all the time and get through these impossibly tough blocks right here. There we are. We're at a thousand points of that. So let's get out of here. Uh, hopefully. Let me out. Let me out of here. So let me jump over here. How many of these? Oh man, that, that's a million to get just 10 of those upgrades. How quickly does that scale? I guess a lot because that's a decillion. And that also is just throwing math equations up there to show how strong the pickaxe is. What in the world? So I guess we'll just do this nope. the hard way. Oh, <laughs> I can only afford one of those, but at least it does 16 damage. Maybe having more token value is the way to go. So we can just get more of these upgrades sooner. So now those are worth 150. I can maybe spare some for whatever this is, moving speed? Hmm. I could get some of these, but I want to devote everything to mining because mining is life. And of course, I do want to see a bomb go off. Oh, whoa. And there's a big area right here with a, another altar thing. No artifacts yet. How does one simply find an artifact? And a, oh, you're a shop. A token bag for free? Sure. And uh, another one for free. And a silver treasure key for free. Why not? I didn't realize there was a ton of free stuff down here. So I guess I can take this over to the crate and open the bronze. Oh, and we get 50 tokens. Cool. And then we open the silver one for hopefully better things. And we get 200 tokens. Neat. Oh, I almost got bombs. Oh man. At least I have more upgrade points to put in here. So wait, if I try to buy 10 of the token bags, I can't do that. But if I get 50 of the token bags, there's a discount. Interesting. I'll take a discount. Have I completed your quest yet? No, I have. I've only broken 200. Oh my goodness. I guess it's just back to the grind. And already these tough blocks are going by way faster. I am severely underestimating the value of those pickaxe upgrades. And yet with all these blocks that I'm breaking, there still isn't a bomb going off. Oh, but I do have the token bags here. Ooh, with a lot of tokens there. So the question is, is it more worth it to have all the blocks give more tokens or just be able to go through more blocks? I guess it just depends on what I value more, money or upgrades. And the answer, of course, is yes. 5,000 from that, pretty good. And of course, once I get 15,000 money, I can buy the next mine. So now what I'm going to do is just avoid all the tough blocks and go through the easy ones again. Oh, and I didn't even realize there was a dark mine this time. I'll have to be careful for that next time. It seems like they happen pretty frequently, so I should be getting a chance soon. There we go, 15,000 acquired. Well, 17,000. Doesn't really matter because that means I can go on to the next mine. And we have some lapis looking things here. And they're, whoa, are kind of hollow. That's weird. Maybe that means they're worth quite a bit of money. They're not the hardest to mine through, but now it's to give us a chance to see if the money value of the blocks is dependent on the mine or the quality of them. I don't know. I'm just turning a clicker game into an idle game. And whoa, whoa, there was a bomb. Hey, hey, look at all that cleared out. Excellent. I was wondering why my guy started glowing. Turns out he just had a bomb hiding behind him. Those bombs are a little shy like that. Ooh, 6,000 money. Not too bad. Although I would like to see a bomb go off more often. So we're just going to go back to the lobby and spend some of those upgrade points that I have. Do the bombs get a discount? No, they don't. And I straight up cannot afford a thing of that. Or I could get the chance to get a key fragment. I think having a bomb is a greater upgrade and we can get that a few times. So now there's a 0.7% chance. And we'll also increase the money value of the blocks and get a bigger backpack, I suppose. If you think about it, if I have a bomb going off, I don't need a stronger pickaxe. Unless the chance of the bomb going off is dependent on a block being destroyed, which kind of makes me stuck. But at least I get upgrade points very quickly. Oh, there's another bomb. Hey, that was pretty quick. It must be per click. So it's a good thing I'm clicking a lot. And another bomb already. Oh, this is working great. Now I can already sell my things for 11,000 that time. Woo. Just got to mine in as far as I can. There's the other bomb that I wanted. Ooh, yes. Give me all those blocks. And another bomb already. Oh, amazing. And this should give us another 11,000. 12,000 this time. Hey, 
We can afford the next place now because it costs 20,000. So now it should have better stuff for us, especially if we, oh yes, get down very deep in there and set a bomb off. And there's a lot more of these weird clear blocks too. Just need a little more money and then I can buy the next mine already. I can tell when I'm done recording this, this sound is going to be plaguing my ears for the next like hour or three. Another bomb pretty soon would be nice. Ooh, a dark mine just opened. I don't need a bomb. Get me out of here. I just need to sell all these things. $11,000. Cool. Time to get to the mine. There's a lot of money to be made there. And before I delve down in there, let's just get some upgrades here. Like uh, more pickaxe damage. Sure. Okay, now we're doing 64 per block. So we can go to... Ooh, there was a few options actually. Let's try the dangerous ruins because I like danger. Time to turn on the auto clicker and just play keep away. 900 money right there. Okay. A few of you. Just please don't hit me. Go away. Back away all of you. Back away. And whoa, this one launches stuff. Oh no, you're the one that launches stuff. Go away. I just gotta mine all these blocks in an instant. Pass through here. Hey, level up. Cool. Some more diamonds and another thingy there. Just gonna wanna run away from all these things. And I do have a lot of money right now. Maybe those monsters are giving me money finally. Which just means I should cleave through all of them. Oh wow, there's a lot of them stacked up here. Okay, um, I don't see the money counter going up. So, not too sure. Ow! You hit me. That was rude. At least these ones have some funky colors sprouting out of them. So maybe that means there's going to be a lot of money payout from this. Good to know that no matter how much damage my sword does, I can just walk into them and then they get deleted. And there's a lot of rocks down here, so that's a good sign. Oh, but it looks like here's the edge of the mine. That's too bad. Or they just have a weird little path fence system. Not too sure what that means. Let's just chew through all of this very quickly as we do. And you as well. Got about a minute left here so if the enemies aren't gonna give me money i might as well just devote all the time from the blocks and a snowman hello can i hit the snowman i guess not hey we already got another level up oh wow 30 seconds left hopefully i can just you know leave i would just like to hopefully get 100 blocks before i have to leave 99 just one more oh and i finished that one there's 100 all right time to get out of here uh exit was to the north i believe oh there's Okay, um, well, I kept everything, but it just kicked me out, and I got an achievement called See You Later. Get sent back after spending too much time in the dungeon. Okay, that's fair. And make more money from the blocks like this and this, and now I can buy the next mine and hopefully sell a lot of things. Ooh, we got some gold thingies here. Okay, how much are all these blocks worth? Oh my gosh, 417,000. Never mind this place. Going straight to the big leagues, and we can go to the mine M for mm, mm. mine. And we were mining up some redstone. So that's pretty cool. And some proper, not transparent diamond things. And we're going through these so fast. I love this. Ooh, more bombs going off. I love it. And now we can see how much the blocks in this mine are worth. 20,000. That's a sneeze compared to what I got earlier. But it's money that I sorely need. So I'm just going to hope that another bomb goes off in the near future. Pow! like right now and another 17,000 for that and there's also a lot of these half harvested blocks that just get left around because i'm clicking at unknown speeds well i mean i am clicking at known speeds but the speed that i'm going at whoa is just ludicrous ludicrous speed <gasps> oh i found a small token bag might as well just redeem that 265 tokens not terrible Ooh, dark mine just opened time to make lots of money a lot more than just the 15k i got just now and ooh, the impossible ruins are open impossible for my auto clicker we'll see <laughs> well the blocks certainly aren't difficult maybe it's talking about the monsters which also just get mowed down to nothing but they also seem to be a lot faster so maybe that's where the difficulty comes in and there's also a lot more of them stay back all of you you dirty fiends. I have blocks to dispose of at lightning speeds. Thankfully, there's just a lot of blocks here to keep me busy. I'm just hoping that since this is the impossible mine, the blocks are worth a lot more by default. It's just too bad I don't get money from that. I wonder what that's about. Hey, another level up. And we got a lot of diamonds that time. Very cool. Oh, I can set a bomb off in the dungeon. Not that it really doesn't do anything. And it's also just falling to oblivion. Eh, get rid of all of you. Okay, thankfully they don't do too much damage. You're also just keeping me for my prize. Out of the way. You know, maybe this is where the movement speed comes in handy. And these don't even take longer to mine depending on the color. They're just all equally obliterated. And it seems like I cleared out all the enemies in the dungeon as well. It's not even a dungeon. It's just a cave. A cave of insane wealth because I'm clearing out the entire map here. Ooh, this one's a brightly colored rock full of Skittles. Hopefully that's worth a whole bunch. And there's so many areas that just have a lot of rocks in them, including more Skittles. So I wonder if I'm just like going around the outside or if they're just respawning. Okay, they definitely have to be respawning. There's no way I left these many rocks behind. Or 
Or, you know, maybe there is a chance of that. Five seconds left. Let's get a few more of these. 117 rocks. Pretty good. Now tell me how much they're worth. 759,000. I almost have a million. Oh, so good. So I can go through N and O. Oh, dear. Lots of money to be made. And I can tell there's a lot of craziness to be going on with all the money to be had from these mines. Sadly, just not as much money as in the dark caves. But at 21,000 at this point is pretty good because we've only been at this for an hour. Thank you, Auto Clicker. So if you guys want to see more ridiculousness from Eterna Mine, then definitely be sure to let me know. Thank you very much for watching and sub to Intern. And I'd like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Edward, and Hateful Harold.